Okay, so we are going to unbox the super exclusive uh, box, which is uh, the last part of the Maiden Pledge. Uh, this is uh, an MPC, a mass production copy that we received, which is exactly what everybody who got uh, the super exclusives will have. So, first of all, let's unwrap the, the plastic. Okay, so as you can see, there's uh, a, a beautiful box, e even for just these super exclusives. Let me rem remind to people what the super exclusives are. The super exclusives are miniatures that were offered uh, only for the Kickstarter backers, uh, just to, uh, to thank them for, for their support during the campaign. So that means these minis will never be uh, available again. We will never reprint them. These are just, this is just a gift that we uh, offered to the, uh, the initial backers. Uh, all right, so you have one box. If you look at the back, you will see that it's both in French and in Eng and English. Um, as I said in another video, only the core box uh, has one language. So if you chose the French core box, everything will be in French, all the cards, uh, the, the rule books. Uh, if you choose, choose it in English, everything will be in English. But in the, in the uh, expansions, each box has two languages, so you, there is no, no difference. Which means you will have more cards than necessary, you will have the, the French version even if you chose the English version. So that explains why we have uh, this introduction text uh, in both languages here. So let's open this beautiful box. Uh, the two guys you can see here are uh, the stars of the super exclusives. These are Gog and Magog, uh, two giants uh, heralds of the apocalypse. So, we have, of course, to start with the two booklets, uh, the super exclusives uh, booklets, uh, which are the scenarios you can have using the material we have here. So uh, let me let me see the English one first. So here you have a, a, a gorgeous picture of uh, Gog. You have the introduction and you have a, a scenario using Gog, Magog and Joan of Arc who, who is having a strange dream, strange dream uh, announcing possibly uh, the Apocalypse. Uh, this is uh, Magog. You have the victory conditions. This is the Battle of Brigny. Uh, so it's, uh, it's another scenario uh, using uh, some of the minis we have here, especially the Good Place. The good place, as you remember, is a, a huge tavern. It's the biggest building we have in the game, plus the crew. And you will recognize one of the crew members uh, if you don't know who it, who it is. <laughs> so this was the English version. We have here the French version. So I will go faster because it's just a uh, French version of what you just saw. You can see that it's it's nice quality. It's uh, it's really really nice. We have some cards, and of course Gog I showed you, and you might recognize this guy here. It's actually very funny because uh, uh, I know Stefan drew me, and uh, so this is Leo, uh, the innkeeper. So. This is the innkeeper of the good place. <laughs> People who followed the, uh, uh, the campaign know that uh, I would welcome everybody saying, well, welcome here, you're in a good place. And uh, it, it became uh, some, some sort of uh, uh, one-liner, something uh, people were, uh, that we received every time, every time a new backer was coming, that this is what we would say. And in the end, at the end of the campaign, uh, as it was going to have incredibly high, 
uh, we were thinking what could we offer to people to please them and one of the things people requested was the good place the tavern the big huge tavern and it's it's here so uh, let's see these cards of course Gog and Mag Magog are characters are big characters so they have the big cards so you have them in, in French and in English, Gog and Magog. And then we have these, uh, these unit cards here. So Leo, so I'm one of the crew members. You also have uh, the voice in her head, which is Jake Thornton, who was very, very present uh, during this campaign and who's represented as a, uh, uh, a troub troubadour. <laughs> so he's a kind of a bard, but he's also a bouncer. <laughs> so he's, he's a crew member of The Good Place. And we also added uh, Jake's cat, whose name that we named Monsieur Quirk, or uh, Monsieur Quirk, because it takes place in French. In French, so we have Jacques and not Jake. <laughs> and Mr. Quirk, is uh, on top of a barrel and uh, he's he will help you get some uh, intrigue uh, cards if I could remember uh, because he listens to everything and then he he comes back and tells everybody what uh, what was uh, what he heard so what else do we have here we have some new punch boards so these are uh, this is the good place as you can see, it's several levels, uh, several levels. So uh, you have the ground level, you have first floor, and you have the underground. Well, uh, the, yeah. Uh, and if you destroy the good place, that would be a shame. But if you do destroy it, then you will return this and this becomes a ruined area. So now let's see the minis, uh, starting with this one. Oh, this one is the good place. Look at the size of this building. I will probably show it uh, next to a miniature. So let me immediately open the second, the second thing. You see, you have all the details. I, I'm sure you could read, uh, you could read the good place uh, on the little. Uh, if you want to see uh, this next to Leo, the innkeeper, and uh, Jacques, the troubadour, and even Mr. Quirk on his barrel. Now you can see how huge the good place is. It's actually gorgeous. I have so many details. It's, it's an incredible... Uh, stretch goal because it was offered as a stretch goal and finally we have the two giants Gog and Magog look at the size of these monsters look at them next to normal sized mini so this is uh, this is Magog and this is Gog they are really really detailed and gorgeous they are the super exclusives. Uh, you can use them in the scenarios that are uh, included and uh, that I just showed you, or you can use all these minis in the battle mode because uh, they have a cost when you create your army. You, you have to choose the minis. Uh, they all have a cost. Your, your, your army mustn't be more than 1,200 points, for instance, if it's a small battle, 2,000 points if it's a bigger battle, and Gog and Magog each have a cost, such uh, same for uh, Jacques or Leo or uh, Mr. Quirk, right? So it's a, it's a smaller expansion, but it's in a nice box and it's the super exclusive. It's what everybody got for free when they uh, participated uh, in this Kickstarter and thank you again. So this, we, we the, the other two videos that you have probably seen, this, this is really what you have in the Maiden Pledge. So next up, we will see two expansions.